Gentleman yields back. The gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Ryan, is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in strong support of the Competes Act, and quite frankly, I am stunned to hear some of the rhetoric coming from the other side around a bill that finally, after decades, recognizes that we are in a very stiff competition with China. And for the longest time, America didn't know it. China was in this competition. China was doing everything they could to dump steel in our country. They spend 7 to 9% of their GDP on infrastructure every year. They got islands in the South China Sea. They told us they weren't going to militarize them. Now they have. They have bases in Africa, long-term raw material contracts in African countries to solidify their control of precious metals so that our phones, our weapon systems, our computers, they have a plan. <laughs> this is not complicated, but it's, it's being seen through the prism of our current broken, insane political system. And so what we're trying to do here is recognize that they're winning. 70% of chip manufacturing comes out of China. The cargo ships along the California ports, those aren't coming from Kansas. They're coming from China. Over 50% of the electric vehicle market is dominated by China. And so the thoughtful thing, the smart strategic thing for us to do in the United States is one, recognize this, and two, make sure we reinvest back into the United States, which is what we did with the bipartisan infrastructure bill. 20 Republicans in the Senate, led by Senator Portman from Ohio, who I commend for his leadership, said, we got to rebuild our country. Broadband, infrastructure, bridges are collapsing in Pittsburgh. We got to fix this stuff. Workforce development, we got to plug these communities in if we're going to win. And so that's what we did in a bipartisan way. And so the next step is how do we bring the chip manufacturing back? How do we rebuild the industrial base here in places like Ohio? And that means we have to have a strategy that invests into the country. That's what the Competes Act does, $52 billion to move these chip manufacturers back. And what's stunning to me about how radical the right wing has become in this country is that this isn't, oh, we're going to invest this money and maybe we'll get a deal. Maybe someone will locate in the industrial Midwest. Last week, Intel, Intel announced a $20 billion investment north of Columbus, Ohio, with over a hundred suppliers in that state that will benefit from locating there. Thousands of construction jobs. And you know what they said? If we pass the Competes Act, if we pass this bill, it's going to become a $100 billion investment in the Midwest. And all we're saying is, if there is nothing we can agree on in the, in the United States Congress, I hope that it's this bill. I hope it's infrastructure. But it's culture war du jour. I mean, what a joke. China has a 10-year plan, 50-year plan, 100-year plan. We live in a 24-hour news cycle talking about Dr. Seuss, Big Bird, M&Ms, SpongeBob, and we're getting our clock cleaned. And this is an attempt by us, hopefully in a bipartisan way, doesn't look that way, but hopefully in a bipartisan way, to actually prepare America post-pandemic, post-economic collapse to bring back manufacturing. And it's already happening. This is, this is already happening. We saw all the leaders 
In Ohio, Democrat, Republican, Governor DeWine, Lieutenant Governor Husted, Jobs Ohio, under a Republican governor, J.P. Nassif, the Columbus Partnership, Kenny McDonald, the business leaders, everybody, the unions. And this bill creates a one million union apprentices in the next five years to build this stuff. Wake up. Wake up. We're losing. And this is a step forward for America to start leading the way and leading the country again. I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman yields back.